day class. In this video, we are going to discuss shingles. Shingles will be the last disease that we're going to discuss as, uh, in the lectures. As you can see from your lecture notes, there are some other diseases or some other symptoms that I have, I have, which I have provided with lecture notes. We are not going to discuss those in detail one by one. The reason is because some diseases are quite straightforward and the treatments are also quite straightforward. So once you see the disease, once you see the definition, you will know the treatments directly. And some diseases, some kinds of diseases, they're actually not diseases, but rather a symptom. But because of, of acupuncture, we sometimes we try to we focus on the symptoms. So we I introduce those the treatments for those symptoms. For example, the sore throat, toothache. So these are more related to the symptoms, how to relieve the symptom. So these you're going to self-study. Self-study doesn't mean those are not important because this knowledge you can use in your practice, you can use in when you see patients present with these diseases just because you can get the information from the notes directly. So we're not going to go through one by one. For some other diseases, I'm only going to introduce the technique that we apply in practice, the shingles. Shingles, you can go through the notes and also don't remember, don't forget your textbook to, to have a general idea what's the course from conventional medicine point of view, from Chinese medicine point of view. And then the treatments. For shingles, the treatments, you're going to put one needles on the star. So for, for example, this patient present with shingles in this region. So the treatments, I will put one needle on the star, on the end and the star. So one needle here, one head, from the other head, from the front. So you can't see the needle, uh, you should see here. So one from the star, one from the end. So from this line, and you can put two to three needles along the line. Yeah. And then it's, you're going to keep for half an hour. And after the, after you remove the needle, what you can do, you can prick the region. So just prick directly on the, on the skin and use, use the cupping, use cupping to draw the blood out. This technique can help to relieve the pain. And from this patient, what she, according to what she described, she feel the, the distending sensation. The something's always under the arm. And this patient had been with the pain for one month. And after the tumors, after the needles for half an hour, after draw the blood, the sensation relief immediately. So the sensation disappeared immediately. So that's how, how acupuncture can assist in shingles. This treatment also can help to relieve the pain after shingles. So in some patients, they, the shingles already recovered, but they still experience the long-term pain in this region, in the affected region. It doesn't have to be around the chest, but just after shingles, the pain, you also can use acupuncture to try to relieve the pain. But when you perform these treatments, you must explain to the patient well. This treatment is quite painful, especially to, to prick to draw the blood out. So you must explain to the patient well. It may, firstly, it's quite painful. Secondly, it may relieve the, it, you may leave some marks there, but this mark can be can recover afterwards, but you must explain to the patient in advance. Thank you for your attention.